Right. Is there? Do you have to deal with any of that that stuff from like the upbringing of Drake and him kind of living in in uh, Toronto without you at times? We hear it in his lyrics sometimes. I, uh, I I had a conversation with Drake about that. I have uh, always been with Drake. Mm. I talk to him, if not every day, every other day. Wow. Um, and we we really got into a deep conversation about that. Um, I said, Drake, why are you saying all of this uh, different stuff about me, man? Like, uh, uh, this is not cool. And uh, he goes, Dad. It sells records. <laughs> uh, so, okay, well, cool. Go I wish my dad was that understanding. Talk about me. Not because- Mic check 1212. Cloud Tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. I right, so look. Ubs. Why are you lying on pops like that, bro? One of the worst things you can ever call a black man is a deadbeat dad, bro. You can't do that to Pops. Not Pops, bro. Champagne Poppy, come on. You can't call a black man a deadbeat, bro. That's sacrilegious. So as y'all seen the clip, Drake's dad was on Nick Cannon's podcast. And basically, they were talking about his relationship with his son, Drake. And he said he called his son one day. He was like, why are you talking down on me saying I wasn't in your life? growing up as a father and drake said to him because it sells records dad and dennis who was drake's dad basically like okay if it sells records then whatever that's basically what he said to nick cannon so then a couple days later or the next day i'm not sure when this was filmed the interview drake posted today on his eyes g story that he's so hurt that he would say that and his dad been capping he know he wasn't his life and everything he rap about is true but here's the thing we been new meek exposed drake for having ghostwriters so we don't even know if the lyrics he rapped about his father not being there is from drake's point of view it could be from a ghostwriter that a hood dude grew up with no father single parent and he just wrote that for drake and then Drake heard it. He's like, damn, my dad was in my life. He was there for me. I had two parent household. But it'll sound good if I I'll make this a hit. This is hard. That's probably what he was thinking. He was like, I just I could just uh, other rappers cap. I could cap. So then he rapped over the beat. He uh took the reference track, made the beat, made it a hit, as Drake always does, and bam, that's the record. So he basically was saying his dad is a deadbeat. He wasn't in his life for all his life in his songs. His dad was like, what the fuck? Why are you saying this? You know that's a lie. And Drake was like, you sell records. I'm telling you, that's what happened, bro. I don't know. That's just my conspiracy theory. That's my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. But Drake, come on. Don't be capping on Pop's name like that, bro. Not the old man. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Bye.